Hello YouTube, this is a Terraria video, a tutorial on how to get unlimited bones. So, I've got some new stuff in my Terraria now. This is all the stuff I've got. I've got a new sword, uh, an aqua scepter that shoots water, a new magic missile. It's all really cool and I found this stuff in a dungeon. I've even got new armor. I've got ancient necro armor, I've got the breastplate, I've got everything right there. Also as well, I've got a crown to make, look, make me look like I'm a king, which is really cool. So let me just take this off and show you real quick what it looks like. So this is the armor, this is basically the armor. Uh, let me just zoom in right there, and here we have it. This is the armor, it looks super cool, super effective with the flying ability and all that greatness. So, let's stick the armor back on, because I don't want to look like that. Even though it looks cool, I just want to look like a king. So, there we go. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to get unlimited bones to make this armor, or to make similarities to this armor. So, I've also got new people living in my house, right here. One is called Lorraine, and the other one, I don't know what his name is. Whatever his name is. Uh, Isaac. Okay, so... Let me just go over here real quick, and yeah, all new stuff in this chest, it's really cool. That's how many bones I had, by the way, from going down and doing this all the way I needed to make some... If I say, I don't know, if I said I needed to make the armor, I could. You also need cobble, cobwebs to make this, but I'm just going to be showing you how to get the bones. So what you need to do in order to get the bones... You need to first defeat the dungeon guardian of the dungeon, of course, where the old man lives. If you haven't done that, then this will not work. Because the dungeon guardian guards basically all the towers down below the ground. And that is where the skeletons and the angry skeletons are. So, if I was you, if you haven't defeated the dungeon guardian, get a weapon, get some really strong armour... And maybe get a flying ability because that's how I beat him. I've also beat the Eye of Cthulhu only just by a scratch of a chance. Uh, but yeah, the Eye of Cthulhu was quite easy. But the Dungeon Guardian took me about five tries without the armor. So, with this tutorial, you will need the Aqua Scepter for the water. Because that's the fastest way to kill them all. So what you need to do, you need to pile up the skeletons until they get into a large enough group. And then what you want to do, you want to fire the Aqua Scepter into all of them, basically. To wipe out the, all of them. And you get all the bone drops and money. Which will be really cool. So this is the dungeon we're in now. So this is what you need to do. You need to, to defeat the Dungeon Guardian at night time only. Otherwise this will not work. So go down here. And then if you go down any further than this, the Dungeon Guardian will kill you. But you can ask the old man to summon his master and that's how you make him get out. So here it is. Uh, you'll find Dragon Skulls. And this is the first step. Angry Bones. You kill these to get all of the bones. And let me just turn the volume down a bit. Okay. So right there, I just got some money. No bones though, I don't think. Oh, also, also as well, you need to kill the Dark Casters. Right there, we just killed one. I've got two bones from that already. So that is how you do it. So let's just keep finding more, more skeletons. Also as well, watch out for that Ring of Fire. Oh, there's another one there. Let's just kill him. Oh, there's, an there's actually another Angry Bone right there. So if you just keep killing these, I recommend you pile them up first though, because that would be the better use of them. Not to find them individually because it make it a bit harder. Oh, right here we've got a group. Come on, let's kill these. So that is what you want to do, but only a larger group. So yeah, that's how you do it. And um, thanks for watching, guys. I've been yours, mine.